FKA Twig speaks out on her first on-camera interview following her lawsuit against Shia LaBeouf. The singer sits down with CBS This Morning co-host Gail King and alleges her actor ex would question her devotion to him. He would often just start having an argument with me in the middle of the night, start accusing me of doing all sorts of things, planning to leave him in my head. He'd wake me up and tell me I was disgusting, that I was vile. All the things that he was accusing you of were absolutely not true. Nothing was ever true. Like, this is the thing, but, but I would really doubt myself, you know, especially when I'd like wake up and he'd be like, you were lying there with your eyes open, planning to leave me. And I'd be like, I literally was asleep. But then he would like only want me to sleep naked because he said if I didn't, then I was keeping myself from him. So, you know, it's a tactic that a lot of abusers use. It's just this like constant availability and everything centered around them. And I think, you know, that's why I wanted to come out and talk about this because the signs really are there from the beginning. The singer whose real name is Talia Barnett claims there wasn't one set moment when she realized there was a problem in the relationship. It's very subtle. That's the thing about you know, domestic abuse, domestic violence. It's a real gradual step-by-step -step process to get somebody to a place where they lose themselves so much they accept or feel like they deserve to be treated in that way. It's not one thing, it's loads of tiny little things that get sewn together into a nightmare. In her civil suit filed in December of 2020, Barnett claimed Shia not only gave her a sexually transmitted disease, the lawsuit also accuses Shia of what Barnett alleges was relentless abuse. Shia LaBeouf and his lawyers filed an official response to Barnett's claims on February 5th. The court filing, which was obtained by E! News, states that the actor denies each and every allegation made by his ex and claims she has not suffered any injury or damage as a result of his actions. His team does not believe FKA Twigs is entitled to any relief or damages. In a statement to the New York Times after the lawsuit was initially filed, Shia said he is a sober member of a 12-step program and committed to recovering. Although many of these allegations are not true, I am not in the position to defend any of my actions, he explained. I owe these women the opportunity to air their statements publicly and accept accountability for those things I have done. As someone in recovery, I have to face almost daily reminders of things I did say and do when I was drinking. In December, FKA Twigs' attorney told E! News in a statement, We tried to resolve this matter privately on the condition that Mr. LaBeouf agree to receive meaningful and consistent psychological treatment. Since he was unwilling to agree to get appropriate help, Ms. Barnett filed this suit to prevent others from unknowingly suffering similar abuse by him.